Right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a very common error when you're new to PSpice. I have a design open, and when I try to run the simulation, here's what happens. We get this kind of problem where it says error orps an unknown parameter. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. How do we know what's actually causing the error in PSpice? Look at the results window and go one or two lines before the error. We're gonna ignore this line. It's this line that's causing the problem. So we need to look at C, C2, C underscore C2. Now we can search for something, uh, click on this hourglass, or excuse me, this magnifying glass icon. You can also find by going to edit and choosing find or doing control F on your keyboard. Once you do that, let's look for C2. So it's C2. Make sure you have everything selected on here on this list. And it's going to look for the reference designator. So click find. And here at the bottom, we can double click on this and it pulls up C2. It gets highlighted. I'm going to zoom in with my right mouse button to click and drag and zoom. And here we go. Why doesn't it like this value here? Well, let's double click on the component itself and see what the actual properties are in the device. We've got current C max, that's fine. Get a designator. Why doesn't it like value? The tolerance. Okay, so the value for capacitors in ORCAD capture is supposed to be just the farad, right? And we want 10,000 microfarad, not volts. And this is supposed to be able to handle 65 volts. So let's put this as 10,000 microfarad, first of all. Or excuse me, what is this? 1,000 microfarad. Small u, capital F. And then for the voltage Vmax, just put 65. Next, let's go right click and save that. And click close. Now let's see if there are any other errors that have this or any other parameters that have this error. Okay, we have this again, error, unknown parameter, C3. And also C4 has this problem. So we do a control F to C3. In fact, you can even do C question mark and you'll find all the C's inside the design. Then you click on this parts tab and it'll show up, it'll pull up there. Let's double click on the C3, that gets, whoa, okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, how do I, okay, yeah, that's C4. Let's fix C4 first then. Scroll to the side here. Yep, there we go. So 1000 microfarad, UF is for microfarad, and this is 25 volts for the max voltage. Close that. Well, you don't even need to close it. We can double click on the C3 here. And then uh, try to right click edit properties. Hopefully this pulls it up for C3. Let's make sure, drag this. Okay, that is C3, good. And then here, put a value. Again, we want the 1000 microfarad, small u. And ah, oh, it was 25 volts. Okay, so 25 volts, hit tab. Now we right click save that just to make sure, close that tab, and then we'll run the simulation again and see if we get the same errors. We do not, I will choose auto converge. Okay, resume simulation. Fine. Now, the analysis still failed, but at least we cleared the unknown parameter error. This has some other issues with it, maybe convergence issues, initial condition and whatnot. But I just wanted to show you how to solve that uh, or, or CAD uh, or simulation error. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.